What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be talking about the Skeleton Crew trailer and the pictures. So, yeah. If you like these kinds of videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more. And without further ado, let's just get right to the trailer. Alright, so... It's basically... This feels like, you know, you see the kids going to school, doing their daily routine you even see that going in the space school bus and one of them wants adventure excitement and all that stuff you know tired of playing make-believe i guess and uh they find something in the woods that they think is a jedi temple but maybe it is maybe it's a ship maybe it's some unknown thing but yeah and you know they go on adventures throughout the trailer they get lost, and it looks like they get thrown in like a, I don't know, a prison. And we see, you know, the little set of keys go off the peg, go through the bars and into the hand of someone. And, oh, it's a potential Jedi. Um, so, yeah, and that's kind of where the, the trailer ends. Um, this really feels like Goonies. Oh, join your friends, you wiggles. Are you Stranger Things, but Star Wars with a little bit of a Star Wars -y twist to it. So I, I don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. Um, I think it looks kind of kind of bad right now, but well, I guess we'll wait and see December third. Oh, and and then one other thing is that we're getting two episodes on December third on on Disney Plus. So. Yeah, I assume this is eight episodes. That's kind of like the standard amount of episodes for Disney Plus shows, but I guess it could be six. But, uh, yeah, so... All right, and... Yeah, I know these pictures are kind of old, but, uh... Well, yeah, I'm going to go through them now. Because I, I, I didn't make a video on these because I just wanted to wait for the trailer to do it all in one video. So, I mean, so we have... Basically, I think the main cast of the show. So we have Wim, who I think is going to be the, I guess, the main of the kids. Then you have Jod Nanawood, which is the potential Jedi, played by Jude Law. And then you have KB, which I think is the, the girl in the back with, like, the visor thing. And then you have Neil, the uh, Ortolan, and Fern. All right, well, kind of a boring picture, but uh, at least you get a, a somewhat decent look at the main characters. And then just a picture of Jod with like some uh, some of those droids that were at Jabba's palace. So yeah, not that exciting of a picture. And then we have uh, Neil and. Um, Wim? Going, oh, they're taking their little bicycles through the forest. How quaint. Oh, look, they've got walkie-talkies like, like in Stranger Things. <laughs> this is going to be so, uh, all right. And then the kids find a, a beat-up droid. Oh, they've got flashlights. Oh, geez, this is just like, this is just like Stranger Things. It's a uh, Maybe it's, it might be too similar, you know, I don't know, we'll see. And then we've got a couple of, a couple of characters riding their, I don't know, bicycle through the streets. KB and Fern. Yeah, that's, that's the picture we got. And then we have this poster that they dropped. You know, you could see their, their little bikes run into the ship and that so yeah i don't know all in all this is just i don't know an interesting project that uh d23 got frillistic skeleton crew we have whim fern kb neil and their motley crew the mysterious and enigmatic jodna na wood and the droid sm33 
the decrepit first mate of the Onyx Cinder. The cast also includes Tunde Adebimpe, <laughs> probably not how you say that, but, and Carrie Condon. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, and the, the ship they fly around in is the Onyx Cinder, but, and that, he was revealed via the Lego set, not the official thing. All right, there's the Lego set. All its glory. It's hard to say if this will, this is like accurate to the show, because again, you need to see it in the show, but yeah, so we'll see. All right, well, I think that's, that's all I have to say. Basically, uh, it boils down to this. Does this show really matter if it's good or bad? We just we just had the Acolyte a few weeks ago, and that did, you know, irreparable damage to the franchise. And while I don't think this show is going to be, you know, the it's not going to be the Acolyte. It's not going to destroy everything and all that, but doesn't matter if this is good or bad because it's like if this is a good show it's like really you this is your this is a show that you put forth effort and it just is an odd choice but they make weird decisions at Lucasfilm so we'll see so yeah it'll be interesting to watch the show but uh yeah well let me know what you thought of the trailer and the pictures and what you think of uh this show in general and uh what are your thoughts on if this is a good or bad show like does it matter if this is a good show or a bad show uh, let me know in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time thanks for watching